showtime! Whoa, hey! Well, something looks different. Oh, I'm a capital G channel. Well, hey guys. Well, I'm Ross Sangin. So, I'm a small Yugi tuber. I believe I have like 1300 subscribers. I mostly focus on the future tier one deck, Fluffles. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick Fluffle deck profile and if you stay a little bit longer, you will see the two card combo that you can lock out your opponent if your opponent makes you go first playing Fluffles. All right, so let's get into the deck profile. So we play three Fluffle Dogs. So he's basically one of the searchers of the deck. Um, he searches for a Fluffle Monster or an Agent Savers. So you gotta max out on it. You, get, you play three Fluffle Bears. So basically what we use him majority of the time is this card to set Toy Vendor. But he also has an effect that he's on the field. You can tribute him to grab a Pomerization from the graveyard and add it back to your hand. But you can only activate one of the effects per turn. I play three Fluffle Wings. Basically if you control a face up Toy Vendor, you can banish him and banish another Fluffle Monster. You draw a card, you send Toy Bender to the graveyard, and you draw another card. So it lets you draw two cards, and Toy Bender also activates unless you search for another Fluffle Monster or Agent Savers. So I play two Fluffle Cheeps. Um, normally, back back couple of like days ago, I, I only played one, but now there's a couple of two card combos that you play, and you basically need. You basically search out cheap. So it basically if your opponent ashes your dog or ashes your toy vendor, if you have sheep, you know, you don't have to worry about it. I play one fluffle penguin. To be honest, this card is gonna is an OTK deck, so if you go second, you're only gonna resolve one penguin. He's searchable by toy vendor, he's searchable by dog. Um, and if you really need him to activate his effect twice, you can always bring him back with Claw Sheep. Oh, and his other effect is if he's on the field, you can special summon another Fluffle monster. So a level four lower Fluffle monster. So it's, it's pretty good. I played one Fluffle cat. His effect is when he's fusion summoned for a fusion monster, uh, you can grab Polly back to your hand. So I normally like to make it with Tiger. So Tiger will be, Fright for Tiger will be chain link one and Fluffle cat will be chain link two. Kind of protects you from Ash and like Ghost Ogre. Uh, I know Ghost Ogre is kind of irrelevant right now, but Ogre gets sided in here and there. A couple of formats. I also play three Edge of Chains. So he's, this card's pretty broken. So LH, when he goes from the field to the graveyard or hand to the graveyard, you get to search for a Fry First spell, spell or Trap card. So basically, you mostly get your Fry for Patchwork. But if you can also draw your Fry for Fusion, your Fry for Fusion is going to be your Miracle Fusion. So you play one Agent Savers. So you play three Nibiru, because this deck is, you want to go second. It's a deck that breaks boards and OTKs. So Nibiru just helps out with breaking the board so much easier. So again, like I said, this deck is meant to go second. So I like to play three Gamma Seals. Uh, right now there's a lot of like stupid locks out there where like Yugen Carrier, Equipping, uh, Buster Dragon. There's also, um, what do you call it? That infinite lock with the Thunderbird. You know, Gamma Seal just it's over, game over, you know. Breaks boards. And I play one Dragon Buster. So he's gonna be the two card combo that I'm gonna show you and he's basically what locks out your opponent. 
So I play three Fright for Patchwork. So basically you get to search a polymerization in the engine monster. Um, extremely good. Especially when Scythe, Fright for, um, Egypt Scythe comes. That card is this nuts. I play three polymerizations, you know, you have to play three, you know, this uh, fusion deck. So if you drop it at two, you're, you're losing. So three, uh, I play three toy vendor. Toy vendor's effect basically is you can discard a card from your hand. You draw a card. And if it's a fluffle monster, you can special summon a monster from your hand. If it's not a fluffle monster, you send that card to the graveyard. So if Toy Vendor ever hits the graveyard, you can search a Fluffle Monster or Edge Gem Saver. So basically, it has the same effect as Fluffle Dog. So I played two Foolish Burial Goods. Yes, so I can send a Toy Vendor, and again, I can search for the cards I need to go to OTK you. I played three Super Polys. Again, Super Poly helps break boards, and also. It works really great with this deck because like I said, it's a fusion deck. This is a card that helps you fusion summon on the battle phase. So I play, play one fry for fusion and I play one instant fusion. Um, pretty good card. There's another two card combo. They use instant fusion. It lets you end with Winda and Dengrusu. But you gotta check out my channel for that combo. So I play two Fright for Sabertooth, two Fright for Krakens. Okay, well, let me go back. So, you know, Sabertooth, he has a pretty good effect. So when he's Fusion Summit, you can target a Fright for card. And special summon it so you basically just summon whatever you fuse fuse to make him with and he gives all your fryper monster 400 attack and if you use three cards to make him he can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect so i played two krakens so kraken has three different effects one it can send a monster from the field to the graveyard and his other effect is he can attack twice, but if he uses the effect of sending a monster to the graveyard, he can't attack you directly. But normally we just, we use his effect, send him to the graveyard, then use him as a material to make Sabertooth and Sabertooth will bring back Kraken. And now Kraken is a whole different card so he can attack your opponent directly. And his third effect is at the end of the battle phase, you switch him to defense mode. And he's a 3000 defense, so Pretty big. I play two Fright for Tigers. So basically he pops cards on the field. So if you use three cards to make him, he pops three. If you make four, he pops four. If you make two, he pops two. And he also gives all your Fright for Monster 300 attack for each Fright for Monster and Fluffle Monster on the field. So pretty good. I play one Fright for Cheap. Just in case you have instant fusion and you have poly, but you don't have a fluffle monster, you can still make some boards. And plus, fluffle cheap is a pretty good effect. When he attacks, your opponent cannot activate uh, any cards or any effects. The, the response until the end of the damage step. And if he dies once per turn, he comes back and he'll be 800 stronger. So I played two super poly targets, Mud Dragon. Actually, no, I lied. I played three Mud Dragon and two of the Starving Venom cards. Um, yeah, you basically guys, you already know what they do. I also played one window for the, like I said, for the instant fusion lock. But again, you have to check out my channel to see that two card combo lock. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty insane. So my link, I played one cross sheep, one anaconda, and one union carrier. And my last card, I played the Dingrusu. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. I'm, I'm pretty bad with English, so a lot of cards I butchered the name. But yeah, here in a second, I'm about to show you the two card combo.
All right, before we get into this two car combo, don't forget to check out my channel, Raw Sangin. I specialize with fluffles. Um, and we all know about the new fluffle cards that we're getting here in Rise of the Duelist. I already made three different two card combos that will lock out your opponent if your opponent makes you go first with the new card with Agent Scythe, Fluffle Dolphin, and Fry for Whale. It, it's pretty nutty. Go check it out. All right, so this is basically a two card combo. Yes, you need another card to put back on top of your deck, and I'll show you why later. But you're gonna normal summon your Fluffle Dog. You're gonna search out Fluffle Sheep. So from here, you're gonna activate Fluffle Sheep because you control Fluffle Monster. You're gonna activate its effect, bounce this to hand, and it lets you summon, special summon a Agent Monster from the hand or from the graveyard. So today we're gonna do it from the hand. So from here, we're gonna link away our sheep and our chain, and we're gonna make cross sheep. So edge of chain is gonna activate, and it's gonna let you grab uh, Fright for Patchwork. So from here, you're gonna activate uh, Fright for Patchwork to grab Pomerization, and it's gonna get you edge of Savers. So here, we're gonna Fusion Summon, we're gonna fuse Edge of Savers and what do you call it, Dog? To make Fry for Tiger. You can also make Fry for Kraken, but doesn't really matter. So from here, Cross Sheep's gonna activate and you're gonna special summon your Edge of Chain. So you're gonna Link these two cards away to make Anaconda. So now you're gonna activate Egypt Saber's effect, putting a card to the top of your deck to special summon itself. So from here, you're gonna link these two cards away to make Union Carrier. So you're gonna activate Anaconda's effect you're gonna pay 2,000 life points to use Fry for Fusion. So Fry for Fusion is gonna banish your Fry for Monster that you use, and a Fluffle card or Edge card. But you want to make basically use three cards to make your Fry for Saber two. Because when you use three cards, it can't be disturbed by battle or by card effect. So from here, you're gonna activate Union's Carrier effect to equip Buster Dragon to Sabertooth. So yeah, so it's a, it's a pretty nutty combo. Um, the more you test with Fluffles, you're gonna notice that you're gonna resolve your wings. Wings gonna let you draw two, Toy Vendor's gonna let you add a card. You're probably more likely gonna resolve also Penguin, and Penguin lets you draw two cards and discard one. So, if in a perfect world, if everything goes goes without getting interrupted, you're gonna have five cards in hand, and you're gonna have this combo. So you're gonna go off on your when it comes back to your turn, and you're gonna win. So I know everyone always talks about Fluffle, then it ha doesn't have a first turn combo. Well, here it is. It only took me with two cards. There's also another card, another. There's another combo that you actually only need two cards, and like I said, it ends with. Nigurusu, Wenda, and the Anaconda. But like I said, you gotta check out my channel. And hopefully you guys like my channel. You hope you like my content that I'm doing right now. So you guys will be part of the Raw Singer family. So 